What's going on there, Reject Nation? Greg and John here today. We are going to watch ourselves the final trailer for Halloween Kills. We already got tickets for the movie. That's right, we're gonna watch this on the big screen, people. So keep a lookout for our immediate reaction. We're of course gonna record a review right when we're leaving the theater, maybe at the theater if we're lucky enough to do it there. I know it's coming out on Peacock. Yep. <laughs> Some of you guys will be like, why aren't you Why doing are you a movie, movie reaction, reaction on YouTube? Reaction. Because we want to watch in the theaters. And we only do movie reactions for movies that might get views. <laughs> <laughs> Not the guaranteed Not the ones. guaranteed big ones. It's too easy. It's like <laughs> taking candy from Would a baby. Like malignant. You know? <laughs> <laughs> ones that are a real tough sell. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's a... Oh! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. oh okay. silver shamrock. Oh. <laughs> he did a psycho gag there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, no man. <laughs> Tommy Doyle. <laughs> Wait, other people took over their house? I guess so. But I'm coming for you. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> POV shot. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> did, did we see Dr. Loomis there? It looked like a flash, baby. Oh, let me find that back. I think we saw Dr. Loomis standing right there. Is that him? Unless this is footage spliced in from an older movie, maybe. But, I mean, can't be the real Loomis. I mean, that's definitely at least it a looks tribute like, to yeah, him. It looks exactly like Donald Pleasance. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm excited to watch this movie. <laughs> I'm very excited to watch it. Yeah. From every one of their early reactions, people are talking about this just being like a blood fest. That is just <laughs> non-stop kills. It gets to a point where it's a little absurd just how ridiculously violent it gets. <laughs> Even Dead Meat James was out there talking about how it seems to kind of border on Rob Zombie territory, which is something that we said in the other trailer that we covered. Uh, but this really does seem like it's gonna pack a major violent punch. That might not be scary, but it's certainly gonna be violent and, looks, and, yeah, and repulsive. Mean. <laughs> yeah. mean and visceral and repulsive, yeah. yeah. It's funny for how bad of a rap the Rob Zombie Halloweens get to see that. I, I think it's just the redneckness because, yeah, I mean, this reads very aggressively carnage heavy like those movies mm -hmm. seem to want to be. The whole thing about the town is just the most intriguing part. I'm like, everyone seems involved. They've gotten everybody grown up who was being babysat from the first film practically they're gonna be involved and they're gonna have like the inherited trauma of this so well this is a weird shot that i have it freeze framed on the one with the loomis because you got what i'm counting on this one shot alone are six cops pointed at a very clean mask of michael myers mm -hmm. So is this like a flashback? No, it can't be a flashback. Definitely not a flashback, but it doesn't feel like it's actually within the, 
the movie. I don't know. There's something that seems odd about this shot, right? Like it's, his mask is so clean and it feels like it's plucked out of the, the older movies. I can't tell if this is a, is, if a this real is a scene from the new movie or the older ones. And I mean, there's even a moment where there's like the little uh, girl who looks just like Danielle Harris in the you know clown costume sure, sure. from part four and stuff. And, and you had the side by side. So I wonder if they are peppering a lot of this trailer with remember the legacy and remember maybe images and moments that we're going to expand yes. upon here. Because while I have seen every Michael movie, I don't have like the best recollection of every single shot where I could go, this movie is no, part yeah. six or whatever. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no, between all, I, I've seen every Halloween movie and actually out of the main killers between Freddy, Jason, Michael, Halloween is the only one where I, I know for sure I've seen every one of them. Mm -hmm. But yet, even when they do these side by sides, I'm like... Don't really remember you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is for the deep cut fans who yeah. watch like every one of them every year. <laughs> you know? This looks exciting. I get the impression though that Jamie Lee Curtis is barely in this movie. Don't you get that vibe? That's the vibe. Like, I feel I, like she's gonna mostly be at the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like whenever we see trailer footage of her, she's not really doing much in here, mm -hmm. and it seems like they have to. Because re what's the third one called? Halloween ends. Yeah. Because obviously this is not gonna end in a way where it's the, the last remaining parts of Michael Myers. Like, this is this has to end in a way where you're setting up the one that... Have they already shot that one? I don't know. So the title's already been revealed. Yeah. I'm under the impression they I already shot it. I want to say they maybe did a back-to-back -back or a double-up, yeah. Yeah, so it can, obviously is not going to have a, a, an optimistic ending. And she's <laughs> not going to get to watch the life leave his eyes in this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with his mask off. I wonder if stuff. they would let you see his face there, because they're really teasing like they're going to let you see his face, but I just don't get the vibe that you would see his face. It could. That's become such an odd thing, because you see it in, like, the original first movie. <laughs> like, we've seen yeah. Michael's face a hand full of times across the franchise and I feel like more so these days that's kind of a no-no for people so yeah. I would be curious and I feel like for me I would want to save that because yeah. we already kind of saw him in the first movie from like behind and side angles and stuff like that so if we were going to get him mm. one more time full on I, I kind of want to save that for the last movie like all I want I, from what I'm hearing about it like yeah I want the violence that's what I want I just want like a bunch of mayhem but I want it to still be fun <laughs> instead of just mean-spirited yeah because yeah, i'm all for this, this this next installment sort of bleeding into what the halloween franchise ultimately became because you know they're like campy and goofy and and ridiculous like even from the opening killing thing that they teased here i'm like that's a little ridiculous he just believes frame somehow ran over there psyched about what he was top of the <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it's a little it's ridiculous and i'm all for it it's just that i, I want it to kind of be a good hybrid from like what the camp did evolve into versus what the reboot was because yeah. a big part of rebooting it by just calling it Halloween was to go those sequels got it all wrong let's do it right yeah. and then if you're gonna go all the way back to just being ridiculous like evolving into the thing you were course correcting you gotta at least maintain a sense of fun you know yeah you know, or bit. maybe take the best elements of the camp and leave some of the other ones because I mean they're they're likable and enjoyable things things throughout the series but yeah we don't necessarily need to be going on full voodoo cult sure, sure. but yeah some some kind of I'm curious as to what the, is gonna make this Halloween movie unique among them because it seems like this trilogy wants to be definitive and special and this trailer definitely looks like it came out of the last movie but I'm still waiting for like what is gonna make this one's punch really land and resonate what's like the most unique idea that they've shown us in these trailers for this movie across all of them is that the entire town is going to take some kind of stand. And that's about the newest thing I can think of. Mm -hmm. Whereas, yeah, the rest of this is reminding me of just past Halloweens, both Rob Zombie and otherwise, yeah. in that it looks really brutal, doubling down on kills and just gruesomeness. And, uh, yeah, I just want to know what will make it now unique from the first film versus just, you know, more. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. Guys, are you excited for Halloween Kills? Are you going to watch it on Peacock, or are you going to go to the theaters and watch it? Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe, click that bell, hit that like button, and let's shout out some patrons. Quanti Tuggle Buggle, Willie William Bryant, Phil Heyer Eider, Chris Lawson, Marshall Thurber, Care Bear in the Garage, Rosalie Taylor Swift, Bayo Gale the Craig Ferguson, Jaron Warner, not a goner, Book the Stack the Crook, Stiff Cliff Rodriguez.
Bliss Crisp Bustin. My mister from another sister crispy. Danny Sweep the Leg Pancakes. Alexander the Great Beaver. Lean Mean Kathleen Mayer. Olivia, one of the Dell guys. Break my back like Bane, differently sane. What the hell, Levitt Odell. Oh my gosh, it's Barnes Josh. Thank you guys so much for being part of our Patreon page. Hopefully you're enjoying the crap over there. And the crap right here. See you soon.